Okay, so the next thing we're doing is actually really, really exciting because I, I didn't know this going in, but I didn't know that nobody knows what James looks like. <laughs> and that's incredible, right? Like in 2017, the, the fact that somebody can be like hugely everywhere and have these incredible listeners and followers and nobody knows what he looks like and people think he looks like a goat <laughs> is amazing to me. It's like I'm unmasking Banksy. And that's what we're going to do right now in like two seconds. That's what's going to happen. Are you ready? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome James. <laughs> what? A what? Uh. I'd be, uh, I'd be lying if I said this wasn't a little bit unsettling. You know, this is <laughs> first time you revealed you just go to a crowd of 200 people. That, that's, that's, but that being said, it's better than in me. It's, it's a bit of a spooky corridor, if I'm honest. So it's, it's nice to be out here. But I, uh, the reason uh, I was going to come out first, Mason suggested this, that you could all kind of get adjusted to my voice coming out of this particular head and the, the shocking amount of grey hair I have for a man my age. He told me to say that specifically, but you might have already known that if you saw my brothers earlier who... The one that Mason likes, hand up. And the one that Mason doesn't like, go up and say hi after. Yeah, you didn't think I was going to call you out, did you? Uh, but what I want to do before I bring Mason out in the style of the show is uh, thank 365, of course, for, for setting this up. Uh, hey. <laughs> Mason, you're not supposed to come out yet. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, look, they, they put all the money up. They made the, they made the tickets real. <laughs> they, <made, laughs> they made the tickets real. Look, all right, fine. Uh, so, everyone, please welcome to the stage uh, Nick Mason. Get out of here, Mason. Mason. Behold! Yeah, no, it's good. It's Behold good. the power I. Oh, come on, this is for hydration. What? No, it's my. No, nope. behold. <laughs> Ah, uh, you're a bad bloke. That was my ticking off checklist pencil. It's not happening okay, now. It's still, it'll still work, hopefully. Okay. Bloody hell. Oh, sorry. Here, you can have that back. <laughs> I bought a pen. I knew. <laughs> you set this up. I don't think there's enough. It's probably no, good. no, it's probably We don't own that, so it's probably no, not a good idea. This is a rental. This is a, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's the guy who makes those? Our friend Alan makes, yeah. like, insane, like, legit Captain America shields and stuff. Yeah. I think he's going to be here at some point. Yeah. So... Say hi afterwards. Well, absolutely. Yeah. I, I think he's going to have a bit of stuff there, a bit of gear if you want to go try it out. Even take some home. I don't think he'd mind, to be honest. <laughs> but, uh, look, uh, we just wanted to say uh, this has been a really big opportunity for us to like start this kind of organisation uh, in the spirit of amazing organisations. Well, I, I figure, like, you know, we started this, like, the tail end of 2013. Yeah. And to think that, like, a couple of short years later, we would be here like two doors down from where I actually work. Mm. Like, just, <laughs> just down at the tram. What a boat. dream, eh? Yeah. I said uh. to you, well, you said to me, should we have it at, like, Federation Square's Acme, like the, mm. the spear point of, like, incredible new technologies and new media? And I said, no, because I'd have to move my car, <laughs> obviously. And then I said, look, counter offer, can we have it at the Butler Dry Cleaning? Which is the, which is just the next <laughs> right, one yep, over. Yep. And you were like, no. So here Compromise. we are. Compromise yeah. is important. Absolutely. So, so no, it's, it's, it's a pretty sweet venue, if I'm, if I'm being honest. But look, the idea is we're trying to. <laughs> the idea is to first build... tackle from over there. <laughs> the idea is, uh, yeah, that the, uh, what, what are we talking here? The, the idea, it's it's very early oh, days. You guys know the deal. Hey, uh, I think Ben asked early, but shall, uh, round of applause. Who here has heard the show before? <laughs> oh, guys. Nice. See, they actually are real games. Yeah. They actually yeah. are. Ra uh, round of applause. Who has never heard it but has been dragged here by a friend or partner? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Almost louder. Yeah, Almost louder. Right, yeah. Which would have been very sad if like maybe like six guys bought thirty tickets each. That would have been That's right, yeah. <laughs> guys, this is they talk about they talk about movies, it's really exciting. So we thought this would be a really good opportunity to kind of uh, well not all businesses do well. What is it like more than half failed within the first year? So we thought, hey, why don't we why don't we abuse this opportunity to talk about some of the bigger failings? From, from business history, you know, because we're, we're not, uh, we're under no illusions that this, you know, it could be a year from now and people will be like, remember when they tried that thing and they really fucked it up? <laughs> so, 
So we thought, look, we're not going to be the only ones who, who've done that. I know you've got a good example to kind of kick off with. Oh, the XFL. The XFL. Does anyone know what the XFL is? <laughs> Steel, Steel knows what the XFL is. Do you want to break the, that down The XFL people? was uh, the World Wrestling Federation's attempt mm. at a football league. Right. It lasted one season. The first injury was... Because it, it, was it, was it was meant to be the more extreme football league. Uh, and so there were fewer rules and like more more fisticuffs. And the first uh, the first injury um, happened during the first coin toss. <laughs> so there was a in what hell? Well, well they, used, they they didn't have a they didn't have a traditional coin toss. They had the human coin toss, which was where they put the football in the middle of the field. They got one player from each team to scramble for it. Was this in like the extreme two thousands? Yeah, that... this was the year two thousand. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes the most extreme sense. of the years, <laughs> yeah, right? right? Yeah. yeah, it was a year we were all waiting for. We we're yeah. like, I can't wait till ninety nine. It's over to 2000. It's going to be so extreme. Hey, uh, professional podcaster Nick. Yes, hello. Could you get on your mic? Yes. <laughs> ah, there we go. We'll fix it in post. It'll be fine. It's fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. We're good? No, it's not loud enough. I think you might need to... How about like... now? Yeah. That's better. Great. Am I okay? I can do this. <laughs> Am I okay? You're yeah. wonderful. Thanks, man. That's, oh, thanks, that's man. really nice. Yeah, you no, that was about you. Just be, no, that was definitely not that. If we're clear. Uh, yeah, well, that's the thing, though. Like, a lot of these, uh, even, like, big companies like, say, Disney, like, they've got Star Wars, they've got Pixar, they've got... Um, you, you guys know this. <laughs> they've got Marvel. <laughs> but it's not like they were without their missteps along the way because it seems like since Pirates of the Caribbean, they've been trying to, trying to replicate the success of having, like, a ride turned into a movie franchise. You know what I'm talking about? Like, Tower of Terror, remember that one? That Eddie, was a movie? That was a movie. Was, it, was that before or after? Hang on, I've got a list. <laughs> <laughs> We don't do the live experience a lot. We're, we're no, we certainly don't. To... Haunted Mansion, that's a really good example, actually. Haunted Mansion came out like two months after, um, after Pirates of the Caribbean. It was an Eddie Murphy picture, which, of course, obviously, that's, that's, a, that's a big misstep right there. Because he's got a string of like horrible, horrible flops, but they just kept giving him $100 million. Like for, uh, what's that one? Well, that's We Can Dream. We can, <laughs> this sure. is a horrible flop. <laughs> that's Maybe right, yeah. It's coming our way anyway. Because he did Pluto Nash, which I don't think anybody saw. Does any, anyone see that? Oh, he's sorry. If you, okay. Everybody in the world who's seen Pluto Nash is in this audience. That's right. right. <laughs> well, you say that because it cost a hundred million dollars and it made seven. So it was it's seven dollars. Kind of, seven million dollars. I should have said. I should have clarified. <laughs> Not that it really matters. It's still, just write it off. It's a loss, isn't it? But it's like it's the same with like Prince of Persia. They've tried to kick it off. Like Tron, which I know you're a big fan of. They yeah. tried to bring uh, Tron back for some reason. John, it's great. Yeah, it's okay. All right. What, the first one or the second one? I'm not one? committed to fighting you on this. <laughs> okay, so it's fine. Uh, and like John Carter of Mars, there's a whole lot of these bizarre. Um, was that a woo for John Carter of Mars? <laughs> know, what is happening? Dragon there? friends love John Carter of Mars. Oh, there you go. Makes sense. Yeah. And like Tomorrowland and the like. But the thing that, I don't know, that really bothers me, and I think this bothers me more than you, is the likes of like gritty fairy tale reboots. Oh, sure. A Maleficent. Yeah, that's right, exactly. A Maleficent, a pan, which I have a enormous disdain for because I remember I've talked about this before I, I came back from the beach to see it like I was having a lovely day at the beach with my wife but I was like I'm going to drive back in the heat and then sit in a theatre and watch fucking Pan and it was just there was a Nirvana cover and there was a Captain Hook was young and cool because they're displaced from time they were, yeah, I, I know I sense. get it yeah, it's, but it was just just horrendous so you know even, even Disney has its missteps whether Disney or podcasting well, that's my point makes sense <laughs> Like, we haven't quite struck on, you know, the right thing just yet. But we'll get there, We'll find ourselves saying. a... We'll sweep all these guys out, clean slate <laughs> next year. Yeah. Do you have, do you have any, like... That, that, that presupposes that they're not going to sweep us out. Oh, no, that, uh, we're out also. Yeah. yeah, okay, great, good. Gritty reboot, younger, cooler, less grey, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Tighter facial hair, if I'm honest, might be the way to go. I probably. But, yeah. Have you got any other ones that, in particular that you... Look, I didn't do a off? heap of research yeah, for this episode. Surprise, I yeah, sort sure, of assumed sure, I would yeah. wing it on the day. No, yeah, yeah, it's working fine so far. <laughs> yeah, <sure. laughs> so, oh, sorry, I'm going again? I'm literally not okay, going to sure, do Okay, sure, okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's what I, I got one for you. Young adult novels, right, after the success of Harry Potter and Twilight, I guess. I mean, they made money. I feel like those movies are as good as they can be for what they are. Like, if anyone's... I've read about ten pages of Twilight and it was... It's really something, like, but not in a good way, obviously. <laughs> but on the back of that, there's just been a whole lot of these ridiculous adult novels, which I'm going to list for you, and you tell me if you've heard of any of these. These are actual films that exist. I'm ready. And I, don't, I don't mean that you've seen, I mean, have you heard of them? Okay. The Host. Not the Korean Not the Korean then no. monster. Okay, then no. good. <laughs> Beautiful Creatures. The Korean monster movie? The Korean monster movie. Then no. Yes. Okay. Then no. Uh, the, I think I've written this one wrong, or it might be right. The Mortal City of Instruments... 
bones? I've seen, <laughs> I've seen a bus ad for it. Okay, good, yeah. yeah. So, A+. a plus. Okay, good, good. City of Ember. No. Is that a, is that, that's like a kid's novel, more, isn't it? Than, a, than an adult one? I will give that one a pass. All right. <laughs> you made it. Oh, this is a good one. Cirque de Freak, the vampire's assistant. It sounds very Nicolas Cage, but I don't think no, it is Nicolas Cage. But, well, he, he's, he's the king of, like, taking a franchise and kind of killing it. Mm -hmm. so Disney, source... Do you hear that? That was weird. Sorcerer's Apprentice. And you have a theory, what is it, the dumber, the, his wig, the dumber the movie? Yeah, is exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. If he's got something high and tight, like... Uh, the the Weatherman. Weather yeah, classic example. Yeah. You know he's putting on his serious face, maybe he has to stop his son from getting addicted to drugs or whatever, but otherwise he's just wizardry and flapping his arms about. So yeah, The Sorcerer's Apprentice is definitely one of those. Uh, okay, I've got one more. I Am Number Four, which I have seen. Anyone seen that? It's fine, right? It's fine? Yeah, exactly. It's all right. That's a perfect... <laughs> that is the perfect... Uh, I couldn't think of the word. I was going to say explanation, but that's not it. You know what? I'm just going to move on. I'm just flipping this. All right. Cosmic Comic professionals. Yeah, you know it. Comic book movies. Yay! Yeah, this guy... <laughs> They're not... I'm sorry, what? They're not... They're not all winners. I'm pioneering a new character, a guy who doesn't know what comic book Jeez. movies are. <laughs> he springs this character on me every now and again and I'm never ready. I'm never ready. No, no, go ahead. This, okay, this should be fine. Like, they're not all gold, obviously. Does anyone have any, like, ones that they just hate? You can put your hand up or call them out, whatever you, whatever you want. Yeah, you, yes. Batman Yes, absolutely. You're on the bandwagon for that. Mm. Why, why in particular? I what? would be. If I, if I need to. No, you're I'm not going to put No, I'm abandoning the character before it started. It's fine. Which. Not what you're asking when you're not the same line, though. Right. And also, the movie was just only started coming to Glory. Sure. Well, that's what it turned out to be, wasn't it? Because at the end, he was like, and that's what I did, Bruce Banner. I went on an adventure. That was. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Are you scouting for a different co-host? That's is that exactly what's happening? Is that what's happening here? Somebody who doesn't bring bizarre personalities that springs on me at the last minute in front, in front of a live audience, exactly. Yeah. No, that's what I do as well, so that's, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's only fair. Has anyone got any other ones? Any good example? Green Lantern. Green Lantern. Yeah, that's absolutely. Tank Girl. Tank Girl. Who said Tank Girl? Wow, that's incredible. Tank Girl. What do you know about Tank Girl? Isn't the end of it animated? They're like, no budget animation. Isn't that how it ends? That's right. Who played the kangaroo? Uh, I think it was Ice Cube. Yeah, I'm glad you said that because I'm like, is it Ice Cube? But I didn't want to say that in case. Is that racist if I say that? <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad you said it. Okay, yeah, no, I remember that one. Doesn't the bad guy has a holographic head? Yep. Yeah, okay, good. Man. So why did it fail again? What's... <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And someone said Green Lantern, which they're given a shot again in a, in, a, in a few years. But we're looking forward to that, right? So... <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh. Depends who does it. If David Goyer does it, like they said, train wreck. I think it's going to be bad. It's probably going to be bad. Look, I feel we're amongst friends here. This is not coming out anywhere. Mm. So I can say I have no faith in any of those, and I think they're all going to crash and burn. This is going Also, on I killed today. some guys okay. in the alley just earlier. That was you? So, yeah. I had to step over bodies to get here. Okay, all right, gotcha. Uh, underdog? <laughs> no, that's that. Now you're reaching, all right. All right, look, I'm getting the wrap up because we've got to be out of here in an hour so people can drink, all right? That's the idea. <laughs> so I think the idea is now we're going to bring Ben back on if he's ready. He's yeah, ready. I'm born ready, mate. Look at um, him go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, round of applause, please. Oh, oh thanks, guys. Oh, Stop I, it. I, I, Stop I it. Clap. I'm, not, I'm in it. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. Kudos. That was good.